All right, and here, uh, this packet came from eBay, and it's a puzzle that I have to see, and I was sort of looking for it, but at the same time, not. No, I was looking for a specific cube in this sort of style, but the style that this cube is in is now hard to find though. And I'll open the rest of this and show you what it actually is. No. Yeah, you may be thinking, huh, Edison Floppy Cube? What's special about this one? Well, this is the original style of floppy turning before what you have today with the super floppy cube and stuff. Because like if you go onto Amazon, eBay, LightTank, Alibaba, um, and many of those other cubing stores, like really popular ones, um, and you see 3 by 3 by one or floppy cube, Nine out of ten time, you're gonna see Z cube, land land Tuesday and or Y day, brand one, which um have the faces look like this, and what you can do is this type of move. Yeah, but on the original floppy cube. The original style of floppy cube, you can only do 180 degree turn. No. And but, at the same time, Edison brand, which I have a few other Edison brand puzzle. And Edison is a Korean company, a Korean cube company, and about 10 years ago, they were popular with the 3x3. Three three. Um, but then, they sort of became obsolete, not really obsolete, but sort of hidden. But you can still find the puzzle and buy them, but they weren't really popular. Um, as in like, they weren't really easily accessible to get. And with the original floppy cube, um, the only way to actually get this floppy cube to work is by having the centers flex like what is shown here but this isn't a really good example though which I'll show you in a good example of it and with this mirror floppy cube now this mirror floppy cube made by using but at the same time though it's easy to find other than this style of floppy cube. So with the original floppy cube you would have center flexing sort of like this though. Yeah. And that is the only way around it. Unless you have it pillowed though or old thing though with those wavy cut yeah. And at the same time with this puzzle is that you can only do 180 degree turn. No. Yeah. At the same time though, this makes it somewhat easier and at the same time somewhat harder than the super floppy cube. No. Yeah. But from the looks of this, this looks like it can be a super floppy. Or maybe not, actually. No, but it's a bit loose on some of the sides. No, and I can adjust the tension, and I know how to. Okay. If I can get this cap off, 
easily. Wait a minute. Yeah, so as you can see in the, the screen, which I can adjust in tension though. Yeah, but hey, I'm happy that I have this rare floppy cube style, which is the original style of floppy cube. No, and at the same time though, it um, it's the correct color scheme, yeah, which is the standard WJ style of color scheme, no, not, well, it's not really standard, but it's more of a standard, though, yeah. And about five, six, seven years ago, these things were like, the style of floppy cube was like literally flooding eBay and other places like that where it's like, you can find really cheap one like this for like maybe a few dollars though. In total, on this one, I paid three dollars for the puzzle itself plus three dollars shipping, so six dollars in total. Which is really good, in my opinion, because you don't really see the style of floppy cube that often anymore today. Oh yeah. And for some reason, some of these pieces, like for say this one, has no cap under it. Yeah. But hey, I like it. It's a nice addition to my collection. And it's now complete. Now I have the original style of floppy. Which I'm happy with.